for Saturday's burial. Still on President Mwai Kibaki, whose burial preparations committee has hinted that preparations in Odaya, where the body of the former president will be laid to rest, are almost complete. Now this, even as locals insist they deserve an opportunity and a chance to view the body and pay their last respects to the former member of parliament, to their former member of parliament. Our reporter Clement Masombo continues to be in Odaya and now reports. By Wednesday evening, preparations at the Odaya approved school grounds where the burial mass will be held on Saturday, April 30th were almost complete. And just as the late president was a development-oriented man, the roads adjacent to the main venue also got a facelift. At least 15,000 Kenyans are expected at the venue on Saturday during the ceremony when the final rites will be performed before his internment at his rural home in Kanyange village. We are making arrangements for 15 and we want to categorize them all as Munas. So the categorization of VVIP, VVIP, you know Mr. K uh, president Kibaki was a very humble man. He will not be too concerned with uh, those details. However, for our own planning, we have zoned the area. We have uh, where the, the family will sit. There is a plan that we have, already, we have just approved, where the clergy will sit, where the choir will sit. On Wednesday morning, the commander of Defense Forces, General Kibochi, had also toured the venue inspecting the work progress. This was before a team from the national government led by peers from the office of the President Kennedy Kihara and the Central Kenya Regional Coordinator Esther Maina also toured the venue. Unless the plans change, we want to drive. We want to come by road. Uh, obviously the route is a, is a classified security matter so we will not tell you the route. But unless there is any other change, as of today, the committee that I sit in has made arrangements to drive from Nairobi to here. Kila mtu amekaribishwa. Milango itakuwa wazi kwa kila mkenya ambaye anataka kuja kutoa heshima zake za mwisho hapa Nyeri. Tumeweka mikakati na ofa ya security na tunatarajia kuwa watu watakuja kwa nidhamu and tutampatia rais wetu watatu heshima zake za mwisho zinazofa the residents of odaya constituency have continued to mourn the death of their longest serving member of parliament appealing to the funeral committee to grant them an opportunity to view the body of the former head of state wanaweza leta na barabara wanaleta nyeri town watu waone kiongozi wao na watu hapa odaya pia waweze kumuona kwa sababu kuna watu wako hapa odaya wamechagua kibaki for like 10 decades hiyo miaka yote wakasimama na yeye wakampenda sana and they are very much touched. With just two days remaining before the burial ceremony of the former president Mwai Kibaki, this is the dome that will host at least 15,000 mourners who are expected to attend the burial on Saturday. Clement Masombo, KTN News. And Clement is still keeping tabs for us in the county of Nyeri, Odaya.